Alzheimer's and dementia, you know, those are terms that are often used interchangeably. And yet, experts say there's an important difference. Tonight, we take a closer look at the illness that robs the patient of their mind and steals that loved one from their family. 80-year-old ladies absolutely fell in love with him. I had to push him out. It's time for you to leave. <laughs> Becky Bowles will tell you her husband, Bill, is a charmer. He is so funny. And he's still funny to this day. They married 29 years ago. Happy years until Bill began struggling with words. He was 69. Had difficulty problem solving, which was not like him. That began a long and frustrating search for a diagnosis. We went probably two years without knowing what it was at all. Dementia is actually not a disease by itself. It's more of an umbrella term uh, that's a set of symptoms. Mike Beckstead with the Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation defines dementia as any change in mental ability that affects your everyday life. The Mayo Clinic says dementia often causes memory loss, confusion, such as getting lost while driving, and personality changes, to name a few. Alzheimer's is the most common cause of dementia, and the Alzheimer's Association says it accounts for 60 to 80 percent of dementia cases. Researchers say becoming forgetful, losing your car keys, are normal parts of aging. Severe mental issues are not normal, and you shouldn't wait to call your doctor, who can schedule brain scans and behavioral tests to pinpoint the cause. And watch for apathy, disinterest in life and hobbies you enjoy. Apathy, Beckstead warns, is turning out to be a strong predictor of future dementia. It is really important that we get an accurate diagnosis early on, because there are treatments for for Alzheimer's disease and pretty much every form of dementia. The important thing is catching it early before we've lost, we've lost so much of our brain function that nothing can be done about it. He knows who I am, but he doesn't, sometimes he um, is very aggressive with me. Bill's sudden aggression forced Becky to place him in a memory care home last January. I couldn't do anything else. A friend sent her an Oscar for her six years of care. He's my soulmate, and I was going to do everything and win that award. Well, there are several of us now in our support group <laughs> where we won the award because we did the right thing. Becky turned to the Alzheimer's Association support group that meets at Asbury United Methodist Church twice a month. She found friends and support and now even helps guide others. And we're not afraid to share even the worst things that happen with us. It's comfort and care for the caregivers. So did Bill like gardening also? He did. He did? Yes. That's great. <laughs> we would go out here and spend so much time. His favorite thing to do was uh, to sit here and watch the butterflies and the uh, hummingbirds. She finds peace in the garden they both created and knows her husband is getting the best of care for the dementia that robbed them of their final years together. He told me quite a few years ago, if you have to take me, place me in a facility, I want you to go ahead and do that because I know that you will make the right decision. She says she feels at peace about that. Now, a sad update tonight. Bill's health recently took a turn for the worse, and Becky just told us today that he passed away on Monday. So our thoughts are definitely with her and her family.